Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys the GameCert Mars Back. Now, basically, what this is is it's kind of like a device that transforms your phone into a mini arcade machine. So it's got a built-in joystick, the buttons, the start and select buttons, so you can play all types of games, um, all types of like retro games like SNES, NES, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance. Um, this actually works with the Happy Chick emulator on your phone, um, so you can play all of the games off there. This supports Android and iOS and um, it runs via Bluetooth and um, it works on loads of retro games it's really it's pretty small so you can fit it in your bag really easily and then um, yeah it's got like a nice retro design to it so there is the back of the box you can see you can put your phone in it like this or you can stand it across it like in landscape and you can play games in that way which is pretty cool and um, so there's just the information on the box if you're interested in anything on there you can just pause the screen and read it and um, yeah that's pretty much it for the box so let's just go um, onto my computer I will show you guys um, their website and if you want to pre-order it there will also be a link in the description of this video. So here it is guys, the Marsback website. So it tells you a bit more about them. You can see some more pictures and um, you can read a bit about it. And if you'd like to order one right now, you just want to click on the order now button. This will actually bring you to their Indiegogo page and um, you can see how much it was raised and stuff. And I'm pretty sure you can still actually um, put some money into it. But um, if you guys would like to order one, it should arrive in April, I believe. Scroll down and just click on read more right here. Now just click on the updates and you should be able to pre-order one. So I will leave a link to this in the description as well. If you wish to pre-order one, you can get it right now for um, $34, which is actually saving quite a bit of money. And there's a few pictures on here you can have a look at and you can read a bit about it. And you can, of course, add it to cart. So now I will just show you some gameplay and what it's like. And maybe you guys might want to consider getting one. Okay, so let's unbox the um, mini arcade and let's take a look at it. So the box is just like this. As soon as you take the lid off, it has an instructions manual inside and I can just open this up. If there's anything you want to read, you can pause it. It's pretty basic. On and off switch down there. Um, it has Bluetooth, um, which I'm pretty sure you hold the select button to get the Bluetooth working. There's a few other informations. There is actually a QR code. We will need this later. This is what we will scan to install Happy Chick. And it also has the GameSir World app if you want to get that as well. Um, it's different for getting Happy Chick on iOS. Um, maybe I will make a video it or link a video to it. Um, but yeah, and there's some other information here. So what we would do, let's just go and take out the actual um, arcade right now. And that is all that's in the box, completely empty now. And here it is, so let's just take a quick look at it. We've got the joystick up here. We've got select, we've got start. We've got all of the buttons like A, B, X, Y. And there is the logo at the front. This bit at the back right here, this is actually a stand. So you can bring this up to hold your phone in place um, or if you've got your phone in landscape mode and this actually does come in handy. And then there are the sides, nothing really on the sides. At the back, we've got the on and off switch and we've actually got a um, battery compartment in here. So this one already had batteries in and I should be able to just take out these um, plastic tabs and then the batteries should actually start working. And now I should be able to power it on Put the compartment back on, if I can work it out. And now if I press start, you should be able to see a tiny blue light here. And the camera might actually not pick it up, it might just. But that basically means that the Bluetooth is now scanning. So if I go and get my Android or iOS phone, I will be able to connect to it um, in Bluetooth mode. And then I can show you some gameplay. Let's also just get the QR code ready because we need, we'll need to scan this um, to get the emulator. Okay, so just on my phone, you will need some kind of QR reader. I've just got the QR code reader, the free version from the App Store. So what I'm going to do is use this to scan the QR code and then I should be able to install it. So if I just go back, I just want to get the Happy Chick one. Okay, so let's just scan this. There you go. And now what we can do is just tap on search. It's the first website. And we should be able to go to the download page so you get iOS or Android on here. We are going to choose Android. 
and we should be able to just tap on download and what this is going to do is actually download the APK file so we can install it so if we just give this a couple of seconds um, we should be able to run it it's got about five seconds left okay so let's just tap on that and we should just be able to install it like normal Okay, so once it has done installing, we can just tap on open and this is just going to open up the app for us. Now we can just agree to the disclaimer right here. And there you go, we're now on the home page. So you can just tap skip on all of these features. Quite a lot of it is in Chinese, Japanese, not quite sure. But what we want to do is just scroll down from the top and we want to enable our Bluetooth connection. So just make sure you enable it if it isn't already enabled. And we can now connect to the device. So it's called this one, the Game Set Mars Back. If we just tap on that, make sure we click on start on the device itself a few times and we should be able to connect to it. Okay, so there you go, it's now connected. Let's close out of this. Okay, so if we're on the main game homepage, scroll down and we can actually look for games that we want to get. So we've got Super Mario World, Super Mario Bros, uh, GTA Vice City, Mario Kart 64, Super Mario 64. There are tons and tons of different games you can get. Um, I actually want to test out a game, maybe something like Street Fighter. Um, what's this, Marvel Heroes. Let's take a look at this one. Yep, I think we're gonna try and get this one. So what we can actually do is just tap back and just tap on get. Now just tap on download, it will tell you the size. This one is about 20 megabytes, so we should be able to install this in a couple of seconds. But as you can see, there's tons of different games on here. There's even PSP games. And what we can do is just tap on start. Uh, let's just do a single game real quick. Okay, so if you can see the kind of like buttons on the screen, what you can actually do is just tap off and or use the controller, like press start a few times and it should actually kind of like remove them off there. So now what we can do is just put this on. Let's play in landscape mode first. You can just position it on here and just try and get it in the best position possible. Okay, so hopefully that looks all right from here. Let's just start a quick game. Um, I'm playing at a kind of awkward position, but um, I'll try and show you guys just some gameplay of basically what it's like. So as you can see, I can pretty much play it perfectly fine. Um, it's really responsive. There's no kind of delay. Um, obviously, I'm playing this game at full speed right now. Um, I'm the one that's not Spider-Man. But yeah, it's um, actually really, really cool. It's a really nice device, really lightweight as well. Um, it's not doesn't like move around on the desk. Like it's solid. Like I'm not going to knock it over while playing or anything like that. And um, yeah, it's definitely playable and um, really, really cool. So I think what we're going to do now is we can actually try in landscape mode. So let's just tap on the options down here. We can go to switch vertical and we should be able to actually put it in this. Just like that. Now you might have to change it a bit, but you guys get the idea. Um, you can play it perfectly fine, just like how it is in landscape mode as well. So that is another really cool thing. Now on the emulator itself, if you tap on play, you can see all of the games you have downloaded. It also tell you what system it is. So we can actually tap play on this N64 game. We can tap single and we can actually play a game of um, Mario 64 using this. So it should be responsive straight away. So we should be able to start a game. Now obviously you will need um, an Android device that can cope with a Nintendo 64. Um, you won't want one that's like laggy or anything like that. But what I'll do is I'll load into this and I will show you guys um, some gameplay. So every game I've tested out seems to work really well. I haven't actually tried PSP games. They just take quite a long time to download. And PSP games are normally like 600 megabytes, 400 megabytes, even up to a gigabyte. But if you do want to test out PSP games, they do run on the PPSS PP emulator. And you can also play Nintendo DS games as well. Obviously sound works as well. I just have to mute it for copyright. But um, yeah, you can actually just listen to the device off your Android phone. So that is pretty much it for this video. This is the game. Gamestar Mars back. If you guys want to pre-order one, make sure to check out the links in the description. Or if you're just interested, make sure to go and check out their website as well. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.